Okay, so here is a quadratic inequality, and we want to solve this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor uh, this side. We can see it's already set equal to zero. The one side is already equal to zero, and so now I'm going to factor this side. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 42. I'm thinking 6 and 7, because 6 times 7 is 42, and 6 plus 7 is 13, so that's good. So this becomes x plus 6 times x plus 7 is greater than 0. Now, how do I identify the solutions here? Well, what I do is I just take each one of these separately and set them equal to 0. I can say x plus 6 equals 0, and I can say x plus 7 equals 0. Okay? Here, I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides, and I get x is equal to negative 6. Here, I'll subtract 7 from both sides, and I get x is equal to negative 7. So my two solutions are negative 6 and negative 7. And so now I have my two critical values. So now I'm going to draw a horizontal line. I'm going to put negative 6 and negative 7 here. I, I'm going to put, sorry, let me put my negative infinity in my infinity. Negative 7 is here. Negative 6 is here. Okay. Now this could be a little challenging because uh, a number between negative 7 and negative 6 is going to have to be a fraction like negative 6 or a decimal like negative 6.5. But I can use a calculator for this. I'll go ahead and grab a calculator and get ready for that. So I'm going to uh, test to find out whether this is positive or negative. I'm going to get um, a number between that's less than negative 7. So how about negative 8? And watch what I can do. I can actually put it in here. I can do negative 8 plus 6 times negative 8 plus 7, and I can do this in the calculator, negative 8 plus 6, let me do parentheses, parenthesis, negative 8 plus 6, close parenthesis, times parenthesis, negative 8 plus 7, close parenthesis, and this winds up being positive 2, so this is positive, okay? Now I want to do a number between negative 7 and negative 6. Well, I know negative 6.5 is right about here. So I'm going to put in negative 6.5. Negative 6.5, and here I'll put negative 6.5. Okay, so negative 6.5, so parenthesis first, negative 6.5 plus 6, close, times parenthesis, negative 6.5, plus 7, close, and that gives me negative 0 0.25. Negative 0.25, which is a negative number, so I'll put a minus there, okay? And now I need a number larger than negative 6, uh, uh, but uh, anything larger than negative 6. I can do negative 5 or I can do 0. I'm going to go ahead and do 0, so I can show you what happens when we do 0. And here we have 0 plus 6 is 6 times 0 plus 7 is 7, and that equals 42, and that's a positive number, and so this is our sign chart. Now that we have our sign chart, we're looking for greater than 0. Well, greater than 0 means positive, so this one's greater than 0, and this one's greater than 0, and so we have an interval from negative infinity up to negative 7. Now, I'm going to put parenthesis here because we do not have the or equal to, no bracket, okay? Here we have, so now we're going to have union, and here we're going to go from negative 6 up to infinity, parenthesis, negative 6 up to infinity, and this is our answer. Maybe we can try it just one more example. Okay, this is one that we, uh, in the last uh, video or a couple of videos ago, we factored it. Uh, so we have x squared plus 2x minus 63. This factors into x plus 9 times x minus 7, and we'll make it less than or equal to 0. So we already have one side equal to 0. Uh, it's really easy to find the zeros of these little bi these binomials. So the 0 of x plus 9 is x equals negative 9, and the 0 of x minus 7 is x equals 7. You just reverse the sign, okay? It, because negative 9 plus 9 is 0, and 7 minus 7 is 0. And if either one of these is 0, it's going to equal 0, okay? So we have, our critical values are negative 9 and 7. We'll draw our horizontal line. We'll put negative infinity here, positive infinity here. We'll put negative 9 over here. We'll put positive 7 over here. We're going to take a number smaller than negative 9, like negative 10. Well, negative 10 plus 9 okay, times negative 10 minus 7. 
Well, negative 10 plus 9, that's negative 1. And negative 10 minus 7, that's negative 17. And a negative times a negative is a positive, positive 17. So we'll put a plus there. Now let's pick a number between negative 9 and 7. Well, 0 is in here, so let's just do 0. All right, that's easy. So 0 plus 9 is 9. And 0 minus 7 is negative 7. And 9 times negative 7 is negative 63. And that's a negative number. And now we'll pick a number larger than 7, like 8. So we'll do 8 plus 9. That's 17. And then we'll do 8 minus 7. That's 1. And 17 times 1 is positive 17, so that's positive. And so these are our intervals. This is our sign chart. And you may, you may want to watch this like a few times to get used to seeing how the sign chart is thrown together. It's, it, it is really pretty simple once you've done it several times. And this says less than or equal to zero. Well, less than zero is a negative number, so we're looking for the negatives. This is less than or equal to zero, this one. So there's only one interval that has a negative. So it's going from negative nine up to seven, has the or equal to, so it'll be a bracket. So it'll be bracket negative nine up to seven, close bracket, and we're done.